What's up everyone? Strong Sweet Caroline's back and we're doing another requested leg workout. Glute focus today with my friend here, Liz. She is a wellness athlete based in Florida. Give her a follow and we're gonna show you what we're doing today. So it's gonna be fun. Are you ready? Yes ma'am. Perfect. So we're getting started with a warm up. Liz is gonna go ahead and go first. We're gonna do single leg glute bridges to activate and warm up our hips and our glutes because most of the time from sitting all day those are super tight and you want to make sure they're warmed up and activated before you hit your glutes. That's great. Go ahead and lay on your back. Yep. Perfect. And she's got good form so lift one leg up. There you go. Now we're going to do sets of 10. So you just do a single leg for sets of 10. She's targeting right here. Three sets of 10 is what we're gonna do on each leg. She's gonna go ahead and switch to the other leg when she hits 10 reps. She squeezes at the top because you really wanna feel that activation right here. Whoa, there we go. Yeah. These are great, especially if you have a leg day where you're doing squats. It doesn't have to be a glute focused day but warming up the hips is super important. So we are going to move on to the second movement for a warm up, which is abductors, working that upper minimus medius glute. She has her back against the pad and we're creating an arch in her lower back to target right here. You can see it move. Yep. Just He's protecting her crotch. Sheesh. So she's using a moderate weight, nothing too crazy, because we're doing three sets of 30. set up to do RDLs fave because we're working this glute to hamstring tie-in. Look at her legs though. Wellness. Heck yeah. She makes me feel small. What's your height? 5'8". Five 5'8". Eight. Five eight. So you'd probably be like class D. D or E in wellness probably. I don't know. Depends on how many compete. Not a lot of tall girls are out here. Exactly. So the tall jeans. The tall jeans. I didn't get those. But we are gonna start with the bar just to get warmed up. Get the activation going. We just warmed up the glutes, but we haven't worked the hamstrings yet, so this is just gonna be slow and steady to work the hamstrings. Are you ready? <laughs> Always. So we're just doing a regular stance, RDL. She's got the overhand grip. Very nice. If you wanna take a step back, Liz, so it doesn't hit that. Yep, we're gonna go all the way down. All the way down to the ground? No, not touching the ground. Yeah. Right there and up. Yep, because her back's flat here. We wanna target upper glute, but she's also stretching this hamstring through the whole movement.
I know. We got to focus on the booty. That's what today's about. So we're starting off with tens on each side. And as Liz pointed out, we want to get the better range of motion. That's why we're using the smaller plates today. Do set of 10. go up so slow down and then fast up there you go this is our first working set we're doing eight reps nice so we're doing four sets of eight for working sets and our RP should be about six to eight nothing crazy not balls to the wall but it should feel hard you should feel contractions the whole time so this is a first compound movement but we're gonna be doing hip thrust after this so I'm really trying to focus on that mind and muscle connection between the lower glute to the hamstring here because when we go into a hip thrust, the hip thrust works the glute maximus. So that way we're going to be ending up working the entire glute throughout the progression of our workout today. four times 10, one and a half reps on these hip thrusts. So she comes all the way up and then about halfway down. That was one, two, three. Stay controlled, Liz, control it. Good. We don't need to get careless when we're using a machine. A lot of people do that. Not too slow now. Up, halfway, up. Good. Up, halfway, up. I don't even know what rep I'm on. I think you're about done. Make this last one. Good wife looks like, everyone. If he likes pictures. <laughs> How do you feel? Like death, but it feels great. It's like I get to walk around and see the light all day. Look at that leg. Here you go.
backs. A lot of ways you can do these. We're doing them standing today. Three sets of 15. Constant tension. You really want to feel it in your upper to middle group. Towards the ceiling. Nice. Kick me in the face. Good. Foot flat to the ceiling is a goal. Foot up. Yep. Good. Come on. Very nice. Up. Yep. Come on. Up. Good. Yeah. So we're still doing loop pump. This is more of the stretch towards the end, and the last thing we'll be doing is a full stretch. But constant tension. We're doing three sets of ten. I basically call these a Smith kick up. Kind of what they are, similar to like if you did a donkey kick, using it both feet. One more, up, very nice. So we're on to the last movement, which is a stretch. Two sets of 20, doing banded good mornings. I'm gonna step on the band first, and then put it over my neck. Yep, this is how I do it, but it's easier for me. I just bend over, around my neck. So this is how tight it should be for you. If it's not tight enough, bring some extra weight in. It's tighter around your neck. And then 20. Twenty twenty one. What do you think? My butt hurts. Same. Killed our workout. 
Now it's time to go get some food and make the games happen. Thanks for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below what you want to do next for leg day. What do you think if you try it out? And keep making those games, folks.